And we are back with The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Um, actually, let's go... I was about to go upstairs when I had to cut the last one short. Let's see what's upstairs. It would appear not a goddamn thing. No, no. All right. So glad they gave me the option to do this. Wait, can I see anything? No, no, okay. Oop, wrong way. All right, let's see if that did anything on this end. Water, water, water. Water, no. All right. It is a very expansive area. All right. Uh, uh, yes. Open the fucking lock. No, no. That's interesting. I'm kind of curious why I would ever want to lock that door behind me. All right. Is the water... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Neat. Kind of had a feeling that was going to be... Didn't take a genius to figure that out. Um, okay. I'm just enjoying the... Oh, I guess I can't go that way. Okay, so... Damn, how big is this game? Let me see the water. That's not bad in terms of water effects. Alright, water effects are a big kind of thing for me. Like... Damn, that's... Not bad at all. Okay, I guess we're going up. Ethan was close. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. Don't call him a prick. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. There's a lot of lakes here. What is that? Oh, I bet you that's where we're going next, whatever it is. Either that or it's just something that hasn't loaded its textures yet. I'd be super impressed if there were, like, fish and crayfish. <clears throat> no? Okay. The soundtrack of this game is very... haunting. Very chill. Hey. Ah. A dragon's been here. 
Looks like Helgen. Rawr. But seriously, like... Look at, look at this lion from all these different angles. It's like fucking photorealistic. Seriously, that's awesome. And that's the co <laughs> and that's the lion's cock and balls. All right. Wait, are they Yep, the embers are still cooling. Wait. They're kind of cooling as I watch. No, okay. I'm coming back. <sighs> Sorry, I just, I totally geek out of the visuals in this game. Hold on, wait, can I go over here? I can. There doesn't look to be any reason to. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Simple. The old man says Corvus. Guess the password. Is it... Is it Corvus? <laughs> How did you know? Well, that's happy. Look at that. No! Peaceful. Okay. The ground is really trippy. Oh! Well, that was the easiest murder mystery ever! I'm guessing. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, sure she is. I can help you. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look. When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Well, why? I can squeeze through. Um... That's a pretty wide gap. Honestly, you could both squeeze through. Gail, 
It has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Well, I'm on fire. Even me. May as well sit down and enjoy it. <laughs> He's really calm about <laughs> What the hell? Like, not even any pain. Well, oh, alright. Not even any pain. Just. Well, all right, if I must. Well, hi, Ethan. Ethan, wake up. Well, kid, you stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you... are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. What? What? Oh. Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Okay. What the fuck am I looking at? I mean, I get the... Okay. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a map afterward. That That's real helpful. Let me guess. Hey, look where I am. Down the rabbit hole we go. Okay. So somewhere around here... Um, all right. this maze a little bit more. Um, I know this is a little bit late in, ex in explaining. Uh, it occurs to me that some of my viewers are not familiar with H.P. Lovecraft, who is a huge inspiration for this story. While it is not based on any particular one of his stories, it is heavily inspired by his works. Alright, not seeing the zombie guys. Whew. 
That was close. Uh, H.P. Lovecraft was a horror writer from the early 1900s. And if you've ever heard of Cthulhu or the Cthulhu Mythos, that was all him. Uh, his stories were about elder gods that were beings of great power. Okay, so... Um, who, you know, like, to them, mankind itself is, you know, but an ant. And his horror deals with, like... Oh, shit. Damn it! I hate you. <sighs> anyway, his horror deals with, deals with, like, madness and... Like, people just going insane, and, like, shapeless, massless horrors, things with tentacles. Please don't catch me, please don't catch me. Uh, it, it's really awesome stuff. Like, I've read quite a bit of Lovecraft, and a lot of it's, like, things from space, but this was, like, the 1900s. So, like, they didn't understand what technology, like, space technology would actually be like. So it's, it's not, oh, I'm trying to think, it's not like technology, you know, it's not like UFOs, it's, you know, fungus creatures coming on meteorites and gods from space and stuff like that, it's... It's really good stuff. Like, it's it's very, very creepy. I think that's all of them. It's kind of hard to explain Lovecraft while I'm playing this game. Um, it's a little stuffy, a little dry. Okay, so curly B and M. Sorry, I had kind of half cheated, like, looked. I didn't look for the solution, but only how to find the solution. And finding all the dead priests is how you find it. So, this should be the ending of the game, I think. Okay, so who's got the downwards triangle? Okay, so the next is square. Who's on square? Square is a Z. The next gate is a circle and a star. So, Z and thingy. Not that thingy, that thingy. Wait, what? Oh, I don't even have to get off? Okay. 
So that's diamond is that thingy. Wait, what was it? Okay. And triangle. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Downwards triangle is the M. I wonder if this changes from game to game. To oh, hello. We found the right coordinates for the Stargate. Like, holy shit, that... Hello, Cthulhu! <laughs> the sleeper has awoken. Sit here. Cool. The curse of the th sea thing, the Enochian Necronomicon. The iron ore miners had finally found it, but not all of them wanted to perform its ritual and disturb summon the sea thing. Gnaeth. Okay, so it's not Cthulhu, it's Ganaeth. One miner realized the ritual would unleash Ganaeth's flood upon this world, and so the miner had no choice but to stab the others with blades, shards of magic, elt down. Ganaeth. Oh, it's Ganaeth. Not. I don't know. In response, cursed the miner, who now wanders the mine, doomed to prevent others from summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever. Ethan, I told you to stay out. God damn it. Look, it's dangerous in here. I'll read your story later. Okay? And, um, please don't tell your mother I'm in here. All right? Okay. Now, you go. Get back home. What? Okay, that's the thing I just read. Um, Mr. Carter has received further explanation as to why your recently submitted patent was rejected. As we explained, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have on record for you more than four dozen requested patents submitted in the last 16 months. None has been successful, and all have been met with challenges by you, Mr. Carter. We would like to consider this matter and future matters administratively closed. All right. Dale, get your shit out of our basement and bring it to the goddamn dump. I'm so sick of stepping over your lifetime of failure on my way to the washing machine. I'm not kidding. Either you move it or I burn it. All right. That was kind of mean. Okay. Now what? Like, we're at 25 minutes. I feel like the game is over. <laughs> We've summoned Cthulhu. Honey, he probably... He can't... Where's Mom? Oh, we've already been here. I thought I heard her voice. She's... Yes, we've, we've been through all this. You. you need to leave. 
go through there. Through that water? It okay. It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. Mom! Mom! Where are you? I'll deal with your brother. Go, now. All right. The fuck am I supposed to do? Do do I leave? I am really confused right now. Let's just see what happens when we come out this way. So help me if it's blocked off, I'm going to be so mad. And bubble, bubble, toilet trouble, walking through what looks like vomit. Slow, slow, slow. Do 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 Okay. So, all right, so wait a minute. Okay, let's go back to the house. That's, I mean, I was just trying to exit the cave, but let's go back to the house and see what happens to Ethan's drawings. Fuck it, we're at half an hour. Um, almost. Facebook.com slash the Cranky Old Gamer and Cranky Old Gamer X on Twitter. The next episode might only be a few minutes long. We'll see what happens.